Uh, uh, you brought up the fact that uh, the behavioral health unit is a good thing and you're making some progress. I definitely think that the behavioral health unit is one of the better aspects of the Portland Police, but the reality of the situation is the behavioral health unit gets not even as much funding as parking enforcement in this town and traffic enforcement and other things. So obviously it's not that big of a priority. And I also think that something like the behavioral health unit should maybe be separated from the police and actually be a unit that doesn't involve police officers and they might possibly have some you know, community liaison people that work with you guys, but I don't necessarily think that the police need to be the ones dealing with mental crises in a lot of situations. And also, you know, bringing up the whole thing about all these secret negotiations and contracts, you know, with uh, the mayor and the police union. Um, this mayor is a straight criminal and he needs to you know, be charged criminally for covering up with the uh, Chief O'Day shooting and all that. He doesn't need to be working on uh, any police contracts or anything else. He should actually resign as mayor and police commissioner immediately, just like Chief O'Day and all the other people that are being shuffled around and retiring all of a sudden. So, you know, that's that's the reality of the situation. You can't have a criminal mayor slash police commissioner on his last little five months or so in office making important decisions for the people of Portland that will affect all of us and you know and affect the work of this board and all kinds of stuff so you know with he needs to step down and he should not be involved in any negotiations of anything he should be resigning in shame and that's all I'll say for now. Thank you.